Hello everybody, today I'm going to be showing you how to make your own Counter Strike Global Offensive server for you and your friends to play on. It's pretty easy, you just have to follow these couple of steps. You want to start off by opening up your browser, or just Google Chrome. Once you've done that, you want to go to this link, which is in the description. Once you're there, you want to download this file. I'll start down in the Steam CMD and once it's done you can close your browser for now because we won't need it until later. So then you want to open up your file explorer. And once you've done that you want to go to your downloads folder. And it'll come up with this file, Steam CMD. You need WinRAR or 7zip to extract this. But I'm going to assume you guys already have that. So you click on the file and right click and click extract to Steam CMD. Then you go into the folder and you run the program. It'll start downloading some files which is neat. And once it's done that, you want to log in anonymous. It'll start connecting to Steam servers. And once it's done, you want to type in force underscore install underscore there. And then the folder you wanted to install to. I wanted to go into my G drive, so I have to type in a D, and then a colon, and then a backward slash. Then I wanted to go into the servers folder, so I type in servers, and then I wanted to go inside the folder CSGO, inside of the servers folder, so I have to type in another backward slash, and type in CSGO, and another backward slash. So, once you've typed this in, it will install into the D drive, into the servers folder, into the Counter Strike folder. So once you've done that, you type in enter. And then you want to type this in app underscore update 740 validate. You click enter and we'll start downloading your Counter Strike server. And it'll, this can take a while, up to 10 minutes. I'll be back once it's done. Okay, it's done downloading now. Took about 5 minutes to download. So once you've done that, you want to port forward some ports. You need to port forward these four ports. And the first one needs to be TCP and UDP. And the rest only UDP. These are in the description. To find out how to port forward, you can Google or find a tutorial on YouTube. If you guys want me to make a tutorial on how to port forward, uh, tell me in the comments, I'll make one. And after that, you want to open up your folder where you installed your server I installed in here so then you want to make a new file a text document and you can call this whatever you want, I'll just call it start uh, you open it up with notepad and you type in this line of text uh, this is in the description so you can copy paste it uh, once you've done that you click save as Save as all files and put dot bat behind it and click save. And then you're ready to start up your server. But before you do that, you need to start up your Counter Strike because otherwise, Steam recognizes your server as the game Counter Strike and won't allow you to start up Counter Strike. So you need to start up your server after you've started up Counter Strike. Which is, yeah, a bit of a hassle, but doesn't matter. Okay, so I've just started up Counter Strike. After you've done that, you want to click on Start, and it'll start up your server. This will take a while to load, and I'll be back when it's done. Okay, it's done now. It took about a minute. So to connect to your server, you want to open up Counter Strike. Go to Play. Go to Browse Community Servers click LAN and there it is so you can just go ahead and connect and I'll start loading up Counter Strike map and I'll be back when it's finished loading okay so it's done loading now and as you can see I'm in my server uh, it bots this is the game mode comp right now you can change this in uh, the bat file we made, the start file I'll show you then another tutorial how to do that um, but for your friends to connect to your server, there are two ways to do that. 
The first one is open up your overlay, go to view of friends, and clicking a name and invite to game. And the other way I'll show you right now. Okay, so for the second way you need to find your IP. You can find that by opening your browser and going to this website which is also linked in the description and your IP will show up right here and mine is blanked out because I don't want you guys to know my IP because some people can do some evil stuff with it and I don't want that to happen okay so once you've got your IP you need to copy paste it and give it to your friends so what your friends needs to do is open up Counter Strike Go to their console, which you can enable in game settings. And the normal button for console is tilde, which is above tab on your keyboard. And then you need to type in connect and then your IP. And that's everything, then they can connect. That's all you have to do to set up your own server. I hope everyone has their server up and running. And if you've got any questions, ask me in the comments, I'll make sure to answer them. And if this video helped you out and you want to see more CSGO content in the future, then please subscribe and like. Thank you all for watching. Have a nice day.